Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go over items flow game manager by Lightning Mods. This is version 1.02. We'll go ahead and get it opened up here. Give it a few moments here. It should load up our games as well as uh, give us a message to download our covers. There we go. Loading game list. And uh, I've already went ahead and downloaded the covers, so I can say no to that. Okay, once we do open up, you can see that we, uh, we get the reflection here of the games. And everything looks pretty sharp there. But we'll go ahead and then, uh, go over our screen here. So up in the top right-hand corner, we have the date as well as the system version, which is 9.00, as well as the temperature. Uh, below that, we have the items flow version, which is 1.2. It says 1.2 there, but it is uh, version 1.02. And then we have the date and the time that the package was created. Uh, the bottom left hand corner, we got our storage. So our USB is there, as well as our system storage, our space used or whatever, the percentage. Over to the right hand side, we can go ahead and reload apps. So if we were to install an app, then we can go ahead and hit triangle. It will just uh, reload the apps and bring them in. You can go ahead and change the categories as well with our square button. So we'll go ahead and hit square. So our first category is retail games. So I don't have any installed, but if we go ahead and hit square again, it will bring up the fake package screen. So these are all our fake packages, as you can see. Go ahead and hit square again. It will bring up just games alone. And hit square again. And then we have our homebrew. So it does bring up the PS2 games here as well. And we'll go ahead and hit square again. And it'll bring us back to the normal menu with everything displayed. And then we have our options for our settings and then our circle to exit out. Let's go ahead and select a game here. We'll go ahead and launch uh, or open up the menu for Days Gone. So we have a few settings in here that we will go over. We have our launch. That's just uh, to launch the game. We can go ahead and dump it. So if we hit X on here, we can dump it all. That's the uh, the game, the update, the DLC. We can dump just the game by itself. We can dump the patch by itself as well. And then dump remastered only. Dump DLC and then back up the fake package. So this is the same thing that uh, your payload does. It just grabs the, uh, the fake package and then transfers over to the USB. And that's it for that option. We do have a, uh, if we hit circle, we have a, let's we'll just skip down here, move to USB. That's the exact same thing as uh, copying over that fake package. It'll just uh, move it over to the USB. So we have our on install option here. Uh, uninstall the game, uninstall the patch. So those two options are there as well. Uh, save game options. Go ahead and hit X on that. We can back up all our saves for the particular game that we're at here. Uh, import saves. Now when you import, it, it has to be a decrypted save. Uh, delete all saves for that particular game. And let's just back up all saves. So we'll hit uh, circle the back out of that. Now trainers, you can go ahead and download them as well. This is the same way Goal 10 works with uh, Illusions uh, 60 frames per second. So if we hit X on it, there's actually three uh, three patches for this here, or three trainers, I should say. So we have the 60 frames per second by Illusion. Uh, go ahead and go up one. We have the 720 frames per second, or sorry, 720 P for the, that's just for the base and then there's the 1080p for the pro and just to enable them you just go ahead and just hit X on them and as you can see it was enabled and then you just go in to launch the game now if you want to disable them you would just reverse that process so you can see patch enabled true just go ahead and hit X on it and it will disable it so we can go in and uh, I think I have the first one enable two to 60 frames per second so it's good if you want to just keep it it will remember which ones that you do set so if you have them already med medically set every time you come in you can go ahead and launch the game and it will have those settings already done for you 
If I hit X on it, it will disable it. Uh, app visibility. So this is just if you want to hide something. Uh, I think it's more particular for apps, like if you're not using them anymore or your your screen is getting cluttered, but you don't want to go ahead and delete them. You want to save them just in case you want to go ahead and launch them again. Just apps you might not use that that often. You can go ahead and you have that option to uh, to hide it. So you can see that there is changed. So I don't know if it uh, if it does it automatically. So days gone is there, yeah. You might have to do a restart, does it say? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I would imagine you probably have to do a restart. It just changes the uh, the value in the app.db. Uh, you have the option to change the the icon, the PNG. So that there is basically, if you hit the, uh, the PlayStation button here, this icon here, go ahead and change that. Uh, the app name, so if you don't want it to be Days Gone, you can go in there. Uh, it does give you a warning here, but you can change it to whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we have already discussed the move to USB. That just grabs the package and brings it over to the to the hard drive. Uh, restore. So this is restoring. It will delete all the DLC and the save data for the game, so be careful with that as well. So that's it for in here. Uh, if we go ahead and hit circle and back out of there, we can jump into our options here, which is the settings. So we have a few more options here. We have our dump path. So this is when you're dumping, uh, dumping games. If you don't want to dump it to your USB or if you do have another USB plugged in, so it'd be USB one and not the USB zero, go ahead and change it. Or if you want to dump it to the Internal, you can go ahead and switch to that as well. Just open it up and select your path here. And uh, or you can go over to the right side, do the same thing, back up one. And uh, if we had a USB one here, then you can go ahead and select that as well. So we'll back out of there. I uh, don't want to change anything, so cancel and exit with the uh, triangle. Uh, check for updates, That's if there is a update. I would imagine it might even check for updates when it does launch. But uh, yeah, if there's a new update, you can go ahead and check for the updates. So this is uh, sort the alf the apps. Uh, it's by default it's alphabetical. I don't think anybody would want to change that to anything random. It would get kind of confusing if you have a bunch of games there, then you would be uh, trying to find that game. Um, so we'll go ahead and. Switch it back to alphabetical by title ID, by app name, and then random. So we'll stick to the app name. Okay, so we have set as default dashboard. That's basically to set the items flow as your default dashboard. Go ahead and turn that on or off. Uh, rebuild fake pack database. Uh, this comes in very handy. If you recall the video I did recently with uh, the Python scripts and then just for apps that you, you don't see anymore on your main screen, you can go ahead and rebuild that database. So this is very handy. It's a lot easier than going ahead and setting up your computer to connect to your PS4 and do it. I believe there's three options in here. So you got your rebuild internal database, rebuild only DLC, and then reactivate content. So you have those three options. And like I said, that's a... A really good tool to have. Uh, theme installer. So you can go ahead and install themes here. Uh, I do have a couple of themes here. If we go over to our USB here, I will leave a link in the description for them as well. Um, they are by Lightning Mods. So we have, uh, they come in zip formats. We have snow as well as we have the 4th of July. So we'll go ahead and launch the snow. Go ahead and select it. Five seconds, it should reload. Yeah, and there we go. Go ahead and just say no to the covers. I've already got them downloaded. Okay, and then there's the snow. So we can go ahead and launch that other one just so you can see it as well. So if we go into theme installer, hit our R1 to go over to the other side and we come down to 4th of July. Give it five seconds here.
Okay. Loading the games, and we'll say no to covers. Okay, and as you can see, there's the 4th of July. So we'll go ahead and hit options again and go into our settings. We, our next option is background MP3 music. So if you have music, um, you can go ahead and add it there. I believe that you can add folders. Yeah, enter folders. You can add a folder or you can add and just one MP3. So it will cycle through all your, uh, your MP3s that you want to play while you have it open. Uh, show button controls. They're on. They're just to show the buttons. Uh, open PS4 menu. Go ahead and select that. So you can jump into settings if you just want to come into settings. Circle to go back. Uh, what else we have there? Power saving settings. So you have those two options. Maybe later on down the road there might be a few more options there as well. You have your package installer. So you can go ahead and just go ahead and select it. Browse to your uh, PKG files. And go ahead and install them. We'll exit of that. And then your custom power controls. So you can go to shut down or just restart your PlayStation suspend. And then you have your save settings as well. So once you do set something, you do want to save it. So if you look down the bottom there, uh, we do have, if we hit R1 for our advanced settings, we can go ahead and do that. You get a few more options in here. Um, so we have our sort apps. I don't think that was one change font is one so you can go ahead if you do have a different font pack then you can go ahead and change that as well you can download your covers uh, this here right here is this is the the startup cover message the one that asks you to download the coverage you can go ahead and turn that off and just hit save settings on that um, change background image as well and then you have your reset customizations so if you don't want to have the theme anymore and you want to go back to normal, go ahead and X on that. Give it five seconds and uh, should load up and we should be back to normal. Okay, loading game lists. And there you go, we're back to normal. But yeah guys, that's basically it for all the options. I know Lightning Mods plans on adding a lot more options. There's a few things he was talking about. I'm excited to see them as well. Um, but definitely download it. I do recommend having it. Even if it's just for the rebuild fake package, like that will save you so much time. I know a lot of people have always asked. I'm missing games. I can't see them, but they're definitely on my hard drive. Well, there you go. Just having the tool just for that alone is a great idea. But it does come with a lot of features, so... I do recommend you grabbing it. But I'm going to leave the video at that. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.